Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures big or small and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife, Melissa, and our three kids, life is pretty full. But there isn't a mountain we can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to another adventure. Today I am on my way with my brother-in-law Patrick to go and pick up some old shelves. Now, a few weeks back we went to a ghost town general store. It is actually ghost town. Well, I guess you consider it a ghost town there's only like one or two people that live there. Um, but the old general store is sitting there and had a bunch of stuff in it. We bought some things, um, but what I left behind were some of the old uh, general store style shelves. I've decided to go back and pick them up because I might have a use for them, hopefully in the near future. So we're gonna load up and uh, go and grab it. But I won't be able to fit it all in the little wagon here, so I've gotta go pick up a rental vehicle. Uh, but first, let's go get Pat. Hey everyone, look, it's Patrick. <laughs> so we're off, uh, we're going back out to that abandoned general store we went to before. Yeah. This time we're gonna come back with the shelves, I hope. Hopefully. Um, and maybe a Pepsi machine, we'll see. I made an offer, so uh, you never know until you get there. Maybe it'll be full of mice and I'll be like, nah, I don't really want it. Or maybe they'll charge more because it's full of mice. You never know. Complimentary rental coffee. Hey, if you get coffee at a rental place, that mean you have to return it when you're done? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do the walk around with the guy, make sure there's no major dents or anything. Looks like a brand new truck, which makes me nervous because there's not a single mark on it. It looks like perfect. I was right, this thing is brand new. There's only 249 kilometers on it. It's about to have more. Stopped at the Boyle truck stop where there's seating for probably 15 in here. But look at the extent of the menu. There's like probably 500 things on this menu. <laughs> That's more, more things that you could make that you could ever hope for. So I used to go to this diner in Winnipeg. Uh, it was called The Wagon Wheel. Really good clubhouse sandwiches. That's what they're really famous for. Um, and if you ordered a milkshake, and I always forgot every time I went there because I'd, I'd, I'd get the Wagon Wheel special, which was the clubhouse, which they would make like from scratch every morning. They'd like make an entire turkey and a roast and the whole thing. So it was so good, it was so fresh. Um, and I guess it was called The Wagon Wheel because it had light fixtures that were shaped like wagon wheels. Well, that probably were wagon wheels at one point. Anyway, when you ordered a milkshake, it's not like they had a mixer. They had the waitresses in the restaurant. And if you're from Winnipeg, you know this place. The, the waitresses in the restaurant were all probably like in their 60s, 70 years old. Uh, you get a milkshake and then they'd go back and they would just put chocolate ice cream in a cup and they'd stir it by hand for like 10 minutes. And every time I ordered one, I forgot that they had to go through that to make me the milkshake. <laughs> and I look over and see this poor lady just like working that milkshake. I bet they could have punched it through a brick wall. They had such big muscles built up from all that, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget that place. I miss the clubhouses there though. I'd love to have one again. Okay, we're here at the old general store, which I uh, didn't buy the whole building, just buying some stuff out of it. Uh, looks like they've got the doors opened up. They had to take the nails off and everything. So we're gonna see where we need to back up and uh, hopefully start loading. So you guys remember this place? There's one of the bins out of it. Don't wanna forget that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. They've got them all pretty much dragged out. Okay, let's come have a look. See what we're here to see. Oh, I forgot there's this big uh, grocery counter, too. This is the cabinet I came for. It's good height. If that top comes off, it shouldn't be too bad. It comes right here. That top over is upside down. I, w I wonder, though, it's going to have a weak spot right here. Yeah. I'm going to really have to nurse it. Yeah, because it's somebody at some point has cut the shelves out or made it smaller there. But we can bring her. I was tipping her, checking her. Yeah. Oh, it's all loose. Okay. It's all loose. All right. Well, let's give this a try. So what happened? We got this shelf for moving out, but what happened to you, Pat? Uh, put my foot <laughs> in the floor here. Yeah, there's a Patrick size. Oh, it goes. I'm sorry, Pat. And then I head butted you. <laughs> yeah, that goes down a ways. How far did you go down? Not too far. This is why we gotta be careful in old buildings. Okay, we'll get a piece of board and put down there. Yeah. Okay. Luckily I was standing on the... Maybe we'll find a bigger one. That thing is just barely fits. Yeah. And that's probably not been out of this building in a hundred years. <laughs> Can we move that to that side? Yep. 
Oh, he's leaning that way? Yeah. Okay, top is off. We're bringing the cart over. We're gonna see if we can move this guy in next. All the, the old flower bins and stuff out of the old store. You can see if I didn't take this out of here, it would have fallen right in. It's already starting to slope down and fall into the floor, which I was under there earlier and it's completely caving in. So I'm pretty nervous walking in this area. Somebody had a Gilbert chemistry set or they were selling them. This was underneath that cabinet we pulled out. A chemistry set? Hey, look, there's still a new old stock uh, dog flea comb. I feel like I'm gonna need this after today. <laughs> There's the bottom. Push. Yep. There you go. We're in. Iron. Now we got another couple, one like more shelf to go. There's still all that guy there. Not much to it, really. That it wouldn't have taken much to build it, but it's original. Now to move the top of this one. Okay, so let's we'll, we'll see how heavy this thing is. The broom. The broom. Kind of see if there's enough room to get it around the corner now. You know, metal shelves are good, but I'm trying to do the building up so it looks like it did 100 years ago. Yeah. If I even get this space, so. I'm being overly optimistic here. I'm already buying stuff for a building I don't own yet. Anything that's old, anything that's wood, you know. There was a fire here? Well, this pot, somebody's been in here. With oh, they're burning something. Yeah, they were burning. We were lucky the place didn't go. Trying to get it, and they had this fluid turned up in there. And they were on the floor there, and they were making smoke. Probably trying to stay warm. And, yeah. Heard of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. How about the Leaning Tower of Privy? That's a little uh, outhouse that's on a wee bit of an angle. I say wee bit, <laughs> no pun intended. Don't know if I'd want to use it. You'd end up with uh, one side of your body probably all soggy at the end of all that. I was gonna take this little Pepsi cooler with me too, but I don't think I got room. Those shelves took up a lot more space than I thought they would. Crawl space. I don't see much and I don't feel like crawling. There's another little hatch there. You just never know what's in the basement of these old buildings. And I can see there's an attic up top. We don't have a ladder long enough. This one we tried, it's too short to get up there to go look. I found an old oil can, coffee mill. There's stuff still lying around. Just gotta do my digging, do my picking. Patrick was digging around in the back and found a whole stack of unused Big Mac containers. These are the styrofoam ones that I haven't seen probably since like the early 1990s. Um, no Big Mac left inside, but uh, knowing McDonald's, if there was, it would probably still look like a Big Mac. This was, I think underneath the cabinet, it's a highway map from 1938 of Alberta, where I am. Kind of neat. I mean, it's dusty as all heck. It's a little bit mousy. You know. Kind of cool. Stickers. Patrick's back there, digging away. Just checking. You never know. Well, that's just it, you never know. Oh, that's a Sinclair dinosaur right there. If I can reach it. It's probably not that old, but we, we don't have Sinclair stations here. Let's see. Not to be used as a life preserver. Well, it wouldn't do you much good unless you were three inches tall. Made in Hong Kong. Well, it's probably got a little bit of age to it. It's gas related. We'll see. So I'm always looking for old signs. I finally found one. It's got a hole in it, which means it was probably used for a stove pipe to go through. So this was against the wall. They had a, a fireplace near it, and then the stove pipe went out. So the, the other side is probably the side that saw the heat. Still, it's interesting, though. I was just looking back over here, and it was sitting right against the wall there. That's what I'm saying, that when you start tearing these walls apart, you're going to find stuff in the walls, I'm sure. 
Okay, back at the house, which is where I have to store this stuff until we end up getting a building and put it in. You can see the, it's full. <laughs> the, the back of this thing is really full. But we started to offload some of the first pieces and I think I'm gonna do a little wash down on them before I put them in storage, just to get some of the dust and debris off them. This was a piece I kind of overlooked the first time. This is the original counter out of the old general store. So you can see it kind of overhangs a bit. Pretty wide plank, really. When you look at how wide this plank is here, it's just, you know, about a foot wide. Um, gonna give it a bit of a wash down. Doesn't need too much. I mean, you want to maintain the original look. I'll probably put some, uh, you know, some fresh oil or do something with the top, but you don't want it to look too new. That defeats the purpose. So after a bit of a wash down and get the dust off, you can see it's really not in too bad a shape. Might do something with the top here. As somebody's painted it white at some point. But, you know, there is certain character that comes from having this years of patina and years of people painting it and wearing it out. All this original wear that happened after being painted. So it's kind of an interesting piece to look at, even as it is. I'm glad I picked it up. Don't know exactly where I'm going to put it in the shop yet or if I'll be able to maintain the length of it. Have, might have to cut the top down a little bit, but it is a cool piece. I saw there was some cards. I see this one has a name on it. Looks like D.F. MacArthur, J. Billens, Mile 105. That's going way back. I mean, these are really old general store cabinets and that's what I want to have, but you know, this stuff might go back, you know, even before that building. Cupboard number two is rinsed off. By no means is it done and cleaned up and ready to install. We've got all the other bins taken out from down there, which got sitting on the lawn, drying off. Uh, now I'm trying to find room for the tops somewhere. So it's official, the garage is a real situation. Yeah, you can close it up, honey. <laughs> I can't even get in there to close the garage door because it's so full of stuff right now. I uh, cannot wait to get it back to normal. Uh, the way I normally have it looking, which is kind of showy and kind of nice, and it's just really cluttered right now. In fact, the garage was so full, in fact, um, that I had to store stuff down the side of the house, which I don't normally do, but those are the tops off the shelves. I tarped them off. <sighs> I'm just completely out of space. Um, hopefully this won't be a problem for much longer, but it was important for me to get the original 100-year-old style shelves and save them from that building where they would have been demolished and lost forever. Uh, so sometimes you have to go through a couple weeks of craziness at your home before you have something amazing at your shop. Um, anyway, thanks for watching this week's adventure. Thankfully for me, I have a very patient wife who puts up with all of my craziness, whether it's buying clown cars or driving an ambulance, which she's still not driven yet. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you all soon, and bye for now.